Hello there, Cougar Academy Algebra 1, and welcome to lesson 5.1. Today, how do you write equations from graphs? Um, hopefully, this seems pretty similar to what we've done in the past. Um, it's really not too bad. So, quick notes for today. First of our steps, identify the y-intercept. You should remember that that is our b value, and that's where the graph crosses the y-axis, crosses the y whoops, axis. And that's the up and down axis. Um, identify the slope, which is the rise over run, also known as m. And we're going to use b and m and plug them into our favorite y equals m x plus b. That is what we call slope intercept form. Going to be seeing these things a lot. Intercept form. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, number one here, the B value, where it crosses the Y axis, right here, that is the point um, zero, 3. Zero, 3, which means 3 is our B. Okay, from that, we just locate our slope. So we're going to find the next whole point, so to speak, and it actually looks like this right here. Um, we can notice if we go up one, to the right one, that means we have a slope of rising one over one or just of one. So we have everything we need to write our y equals mx plus b. We just found the slope is one, so y equals one x or just x. And we found our b is three, so plus three. And hey, there's the equation of the line. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. It can get a little trickier. Like if we look at number two, um, we are going to, again, first step, identify the Y intercept, which is right at zero, zero. So this can be a little funky. Um, that means the B value is zero. So B equals zero. Um, the slope. So let's find our rise over run. Um, the next point we can possibly see that's nice and clean, probably right about here or in the other direction. Now remember with slope, we are going down. One, two, three, four, five. So down five, that means negative, negative five, and we are going our run, one, two. So two, so negative five over two, meaning we have y equals, that's our slope, negative five halves, and x. You could write the plus zero, okay? Since our y-intercept zero, um, you really don't need that. But in this case, just negative five halves x. That's, again, just be careful with negatives. If it's going down from left to right, it needs to have a negative slope. The other thing to be careful of is... Horizontal and vertical lines. If you remember graphing these, a vertical line is always of x equals. Just x equals some number. Okay? So if you see a vertical line, a little light bulb should go off in your head, and you're thinking this is just x equals. And then you're going to find the x-coordinate that is constant throughout the whole graph. So in this case, 1. So x equals 1 because that's the x-coordinate passes through, and there's the vertical line. Similarly, y equals is a horizontal line. So if you see a line that looks like this, we know it's always of the form y equals some number. You're going to find the y value it crosses through and is the same throughout, and in this case, y equals, uh, not y, y equals Five. Okay, so that is graphing when you are given or writing the equation of graph when you're given a graph. Practice problems to follow should not be too bad. And there's some multiple choice for you to try out too. So great stuff, guys, and see you next lesson.